bugger. Had it in slow motion too, so I'll capture the <laughs> the um, the almost of that. Yeah, yeah. Come on. So I like a little creek at the end of my street. Yeah, yeah. Hey everyone, RC Bobby Man out here with Al and Chloe checking it out. We're out at the uh, section down near the mulberry tree. So there they are, They're down at the section down there where there used to be a mulberry tree out here, Zillman's down past on the on the bottom side of the causeway. Uh, so yeah, we want to get down to this section for a little while. And there we go, you can see it all the way up the top up there for a second. And then all the way back down there. So we're just about to check it out and go for a bit of an explore and see what it's like and finally get some, some video of it and some photos for you. But it uh, definitely looks like it's opened up heaps. So we'll go and check it out and we'll see how we go.
don't have this guy's anyway, man. Oh. Quite fair, right? Woohoo! Oh, it's going here. Oh, I think real quietly. I'll land on this wheel. I'm not rolling at this time. You all nailed it. <laughs> that was better. Mine not so good. Yeah. So, in truth, RC Toby Man style, I've left my camera stand today. So now I'm looking down and it's resting on my back. But, uh, how he's all going? Hope you're doing okay. And you know the routine. If you're not, let his thing out. Ask, ask someone they want to have a bit of a chat and you be surprised when you unburden yourself you'll be surprised how much that is a little bit easier make sure anyway out here on the eastern side of Zillman's Crossing met up with uh, Chris and unfortunately Chris has got his steering servo pooed itself right at the start so he was out of the game but um, hopefully that's only just something easy to fix uh, and then Al Al showed up He's uh, got his 80 series, so he's messing around with it. Brought it out to give it a bit of a try, so we both figured, well, we'll come down and have a look and uh, check it out. And yeah, it's an absolute pearl. Like, there's been some really good spots here. Someone's been here and already dug a few little hill climbs in. And But the landscape here is really, really good, so yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure that you're all travelling okay. And if you weren't, if you're not feeling the best, if you're not 100%, well, don't forget to sing out, to ask the question, because You'd be surprised how much easier it is just by talking, you know. But anyway, we'll keep on going here. We'll get a few more vids and a few more pics. And we'll, um, yeah, get a bit more of, a, of an outlook at this unreal little spot now so we can show you, show you what it's like. And for those that are able to, or that are able to come out this far, check it out if you're local or you want to do the trip. Yeah, this, this is definitely the way to go. All right, we'll have a bit more of a play. Wow, this section has really opened up. This is um, this is on the eastern side of the crossing, Zillman's Crossing. So, uh, just the landscape available here is wild. I'll give you a bit of an idea. There's a car coming up on the road up there. So you'll see it drive up the road here shortly. Go up there and it'll go around that corner up the top up there. There's another four wheel drive around that same corner. Now, if you come down to Zillman's Crossing, as you come around that corner, you can even access over that other side a little tiny bit. You might even be able to come down into this section here. But, uh, yep, there's a lot of, lot of playground here now. Way more than there was before. It's gonna be an awesome spot for a trail run, so I mean, think. Yeah. What a fantastic spot. I've just been down to where those fallen trees are down there. Al's down there. He's messing around still with his 80 series. And uh, yeah. All right, we'll get some more vids and some more photos. Loving this spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Someone got this bloody video camera out and look what's happened. 
Bloody sticks. Nah, oh, shit, I've got insurance. Apparently. I actually quite like this rig, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't reckon really. No, like I said, a lot of mine now is back to just being completely normal standard. Deals? Yep. They offered me a special deal, so I emailed them. Yeah. He said, Can I pick up and stop? I said, Yeah. Get that. Look at you just bounced your way up there, no problem at all. Yeah. Look at how they handle so different, eh? Yeah. Some trucks are good at some things. That's quite cool. I don't know if I should tint the windows or put interior on it. Yeah, I sort of wondered that a few times. What I ended up doing with this one here was I just painted the interior black. Oh, this is mean out here. Yeah. Out, my mate. He worked weekends. Just need a little tap. There we go. <laughs> Just Oh, look at yours, just eats it. <laughs> Where are they? Is yeah. that the same wheelbase? Oh, it probably is. Yeah, just individual setups and bloody, yeah. Good stuff. I think they're pretty heavy, this thing, eh? New electronics probably wouldn't hurt. They're all stuck. Roxburg talked about it quite a lot because it's just up the road from me I come up quite a lot 
and that section that we just looked at just there that's all the way down that side there probably i don't know it'd be a good couple of hundred meters worth and uh there's more there's more after that so there was always that little section just there and uh there's a, there's a few of us cut our teeth on this tree believe it or not and this little bit of a bank here and all kinds and look, there's a bend that never gets used and then up in this section up here this has opened up a little bit more good for a bit of an explore just a bit of a run around but doesn't seem to be up the end of that little alley there just sort of goes into a big pool of water so i haven't been up either side of the banks had a look yet but um we can explore that later but this is a good little section here if you just wanted to come and mesh around drive around a little bit there's some crawl areas at the side of my car over there up around there and in that little section just the other side of the causeway there there's some great little spots and relatively easy access down to most of it and then there's that other section that's further down so yeah if you're out this way you get the chance to it and you're into crawling it's definitely worthwhile coming for a look see here that's for sure So I've got a bit of an interesting crawl coming up. It's about a 3,600 kilometre round trip. It's uh, back to Man Isa, my hometown. It's uh, the 23rd of February next year, 2023. It's uh, the 100th anniversary of, of the founding of Man Isa. Uh, Man Isa's uh, lead, zinc, gold mine that's been operating since 100 years ago. Well, there's been some activity there the whole way through. It's been owned, owned by a few different companies and lots changed. The one thing that hasn't changed is the Leichhardt River. Smack down right through the middle of town. And that river, that riverbed, riverbeds in the, in the bush, they're different to, um, to the ones on the coast. Like these ones here, which obviously do attract a lot of water. Um, then you've got somewhere else that might be extremely aggressive and really sharp like here it's all rounded and but this it, the Leichhardt River that runs right through the middle of town like in some sections it's probably you know 500 meters wide it's huge and uh it miles and miles and miles and miles of trail running every sort of concept you could think that you'd want to play with the four-wheel drive well that's there so I'm going to combine my trip back up to Man Isa for the hundreds and go on a bit of a RC4 drive um, adventure. RC4, we mean, out, out, out and about. So keep tuned with that. I don't know whether it's going to turn into anyone else who's crazy enough to come and do it as well. You never know. But um, yeah, it's February 23rd next year. That's, that's the date. So there'll be more to it. Keep an eye out. Probably in the next episode might be a bit of an exploratory, ex, explanatory me bob won't be exploratory i'll keep the gloves off that one but um yeah no a bit of an explanatory as to what's what the go is there and a bit more info that i can gather about it but um yeah I've, ever since i got back into crawlers i've often thought of my hometown i thought yeah that's definitely where i need to go so yeah anyway keep an eye out on that one possibly the next episode talk to you then so hey great spot really great spot definitely worth the trip anyway just wanted to thank you all for the extra subscriptions and a couple of likes. Uh, really, really enjoyed that when I get those. Um, spread the word. Um, yeah, get the word out there. Practice it yourself as much as you can. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, make sure everyone's traveling on the okay. game. Um, yeah, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. We'll see how we go. And uh, yeah, we'll have a bit more to talk about this next one with this man eyes trip. Uh, obviously, it's a big it's a big thing it's not something that can be taken lightly so i i sort of fully expect that people aren't going to be able to take you know sort of time off but uh i'll definitely cover it and um yeah definitely definitely get as many angles of that as i can so all right love you guys uh you're the reason i do this so yeah always remember that and uh yeah thanks for the subscription thanks for the like spread the word and uh until next we meet look after yourself and enjoy yourself and happy crawling. I uh, see Corby man.